welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel my name is Eunice Chidi my emo and I am so sorry I haven't been consistent I've been away for about a month if not more I'm sorry things beyond my control just came up and I had to attend to I had to attend to those things first because they were so very important I'm not saying this is not important this is very important to me knowing that knowing that it's something I'm building and I need to be consistent to to, to uh, for it to you know yield fruit so but I had to just take care of my self yeah so um welcome back to my channel and um here we talk about things that happen in our everyday life everything here happens in our everyday life so that's what we majorly talk about here so if you are joining us for the very first time you're so welcome and if you're a regular thank you very much for your support i don't take it for granted at all thank you so much Mwah. So today we'll be talking about five things I'll be considering before I sign an employment letter. Five things I'll be considering. Number one, health insurance. I'll be considering health insurance. How is the health policy like? Is the company or is the firm or wherever it is? How is the, um, um, the policy, the health policy like? Am I paying my money? Am I Paying medical money myself when I fall sick what happens do I have health insurance yeah so I'll be taking note of that too I'll be taking note of pension what does the company say on pension do they just select some particular people to to you know support them in their pension savings and all that do they or is it for everyone that I'll be considering in ev I feel in every company I think it's even in the law every employee should um, should have pension they should be saving I think um, some percentage of their salary then the company will also add some if I'm not if I'm if I'm so wrong please correct me in the comment section yeah so, um, and I'll give more details about this in the description box. So, if you don't go to my description box, you're totally missing out on a whole lot of information. So, before I digress, I feel some companies do not really help their employees in, um, in that pension area. So, I'll be considering that too. Does this company I'm about to work for, do they um, support pension? Will they help me with mine? Three, how often do they owe? You know, we're in Lagos, we're in Nigeria. This financial thing, it fluctuates, you know. And um, how often does a company owe? It's okay for a company, maybe the company is not really doing fine, to so owe maybe a month and they pay back, you know, they pay you immediately, they get up, maybe a month. But when a company is known for always owing their employees, that is a big red flag. No matter how desperate you are, you'll just be working for free. You'll be working for free. But when a company is not known for that, but things just went somehow that particular month, it's okay to still, of course, it's okay to hang around and support the company. But when the company is known for owing, it's a red flag. It's a no no. Just by number four growth 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 will you be given a chance to grow in that company will you be given a chance to apply for managerial roles when there's an opening or they rather go out and bring someone in will you be given a chance when you upgrade your current degree or you add a certification course to it and there's an opening for that uh, certification course you have will you be given a chance to take it will you those are the questions you should ask 
those are things you should look out for before, employ before signing. And is the firm a place where you can really grow in? Is it? So those are, you know, things you think about too. So number five, work environment. Do they provide you with enough working tools? Or you just have to buy your own stuff? Like bring your own laptop? Like bring your own paper and biro? You know, all those work tools, your work stuff. Do they provide you with those things? Do they provide you with app that can help you, you know, that can help you fasten the job? Do they provide you with that? You should think about that and if you're capable of providing your own stuff that means uh, well you can now sign if the company doesn't provide you with that and if they provide you with that wow that's brilliant that's where i really want to work you know so and um, that's five okay yeah that's five so i hope i mentioned healthcare insurance i mentioned um, pension i mentioned growth i mentioned money I mentioned work environment, that's five. I'm going to mention an extra to so job security. How often do they sack people? Do they sack you over unnecessary things? Like you didn't greet someone, you didn't clock in, you forgot to clock in, you forgot to clock out. You ate on your work table and you just sack. Mm -mm. So you have to look at that too. How often do they just sack people? You have to just ask around before you decide to leave your job into another one. So you have to look out for all these things and you have to ask the right question. And last, but not the least, actually it is the least. Resumption time and closing time. It's very important for you to notice. There are some jobs that don't have closing days closing time but they have assumption time so you have to ask these questions it has to be written in your employment form okay you, open, you resume by this time and you close by this time if you intend to stay back after that time that is totally your choice totally your choice if you intend to sleep in the office it is totally your choice but at least you should have a closing time you should look at it you should see that there's a closing time and there's a resumption time yeah those are my five six seven points seven seven things i'll be looking out for although i said five but two bonus two bonus points seven points i'll be looking out for seven point agenda i'm looking out for before signing an employment form thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching for joining me on this one i hope i remain consistent seriously i hope i remain consistent and um thank you for coming back thank you for liking for commenting for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for everything for supporting thank you so much and i hope you join me on my next one which will be which you won't want to miss yeah you won't want to miss it at all on my next one so um don't forget to comment and go to the description don't forget to comment and visit the description box <laughs> visit the description box and you get more information there about the pension thing i do really emphasize on that a lot so thank you for watching thank you for watching don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and like the video or share the video yeah so enjoy the rest of your week enjoy the rest of today and have fun be productive and be consistent don't be like me please be consistent in whatever you're doing and i know you've learned a, uh, a thing or two from this so use it and i'm telling you don't be desperate to sign that employment form don't be desperate use it so i'll see you in my next one bye